everyone, it's Mike. And Raven. And we're about to do the third and final mission of the comic book extras. Yeah. And called, what's it called? Called Final Defense. And it says it's very hard, so we'll see. Okay. Do you want to read a little story about it? <laughs> yeah. Now that we've arrived at the shelter, we must protect it from this final onslaught, lest sheer numbers tear it apart before we can secure it. So in this one... The blue spawn that's over by the taxi in the Daily Bugle over there. Yeah. You spawn a random abomination and it starts right there. Okay. So I'll do that right now. So what abomination do we get? I'll cut the deck. Cut there. Oh, of course. Cthulhu. So we'll grab Cthulhu and put him over there. So Cthulhu's a starting abomination on the map on this one. Yeah. And we set a dice on six and then... The game is lost after each round if it counts, it counts down. Every time it activates, it counts down. If it gets to zero, we die. Yeah. Uh, all survivors may take one wound to add one point to the die max, too. So if we all take a wound, we can add one to the die. Okay. So you want to read the objectives for this one? Okay. Acom accomplish the objectives in this order to win the game. Number one, hardened defenders reach the red danger level with all survivors. And number two, lock it down. Get all survivors in the shelter, which is the survivor starting zone. So we all have to come back to where we are now once we get to red? Yeah. During an end phase without any zombies in it. Okay, so get to red, get back to the shelter basically for this one. Yeah. And then the abomination starts where we put it there, the Kasulu. And the blue spawn that he's on top of always spawns at red level, no matter what. Right. And then the dice that are on the doors over there by the Coke machine and over by the pimp wagon over there uh the blue door starts at four and the green door starts at three every round we count that down and when they get to zero those doors open okay all the doors are already open so we don't have to do any spawns in the buildings because all the doors for each building is already open right so we we're basically trying to wait till all the spawns come out from the street there and we just kill them to get to red yeah uh the pimp weapons are still the same. We can pick them up. We'll do it normally. We won't roll off for these ones because this, this might be a little tough. Yes. The objectives are worth 10 points each. Okay. This one, there's three objectives on the map. So there's not a pimp weapon or objective in the zone we're in. Right. And this one's a little different for drawing the start weapons. We still get our gray weapons at the start. So we'll draw those first. So for Will, we get a bat. For Aubrey... We get a fire axe. For Dave, we get a pistol. And for Miss Trish, we get a K bar. We're also using the the spawn deck for Fort Hendricks versus shooting zombies, but we're not going to use the shooting zombies in this match. I just didn't want to change the deck. I was too lazy to switch it. Yeah. But when the shooter zombie token comes up there or the mark on there, we won't put shooter zombies. Because I think this would, that would make this way If you want to try it, you can do it that way. I think it'd be pretty tough because there's not big buildings in this and a lot of streets, so it'd be kind of rough. Yeah. And we're only playing with four survivors this one. You can play with six, but we want to test out the Big Bang Theory characters we have. We do. And then once we're done this mission, even if they die or not, we'll put them up in the store probably. Yeah. Because we have Amy, Sheldon, Howard, Howard, and Bernadette. Bernadette. And Cinnamon. Cinnamon. We don't have Cinnamon. Raj to go with Cinnamon. Yeah. But Cinnamon, we're just going to play our... I know there's rules for uh, companions, too, and dogs. Uh, but we'll just use her as an extra wound, basically. Okay. So she can take a wound for us if we really need it. So just whoever's zone C in gets an extra wound, basically. Cool. So take one for the team. All right. Uh, another thing that's different in this, we get... Uh, set of weapons at the start of the game that's what's over here so the plenty of bullets shotgun and kukri are given out at the start of the game so i'll shuffle them up put them there okay do you want to draw first for your team and you can pick okay so what do you get plenty of bullets so you can put that on somebody um i think i'm gonna put that with uh, Miss Trish. Because she is full auto for blue, right? Yes. So that gives you, for every zombie that's in the zone you're shooting at, you get that many dice. So if there's 12 zombies in that zone, you get to shoot 12 dice, which is crazy. Yeah. That's why we're also using four characters this one, because some of the moves are pretty good. Like Will has plus one damage range. So if he gets a shotgun, he does free damage. Yeah. So yeah, it's 
pretty crazy. Cool. Uh, so I'll pick next. And I got funny other shotgun. I'm going to give that to Will because now he does free damage range. Nice. And then you get the last one, which is a Kukri. Okay. And who are you gonna give that to? Um, I'll give it to Amy has a zombie link. Uh, I'll give it to Dave. So it's also different in this for searching for this. You start with two Maltovs, a chainsaw, and a sub MG, they say, and then you pick 20 random blue cards, and that's your draw pile and you put eight in each zone with objective so wherever there's a red objective that's where you would put the right eight ones right and then that's all you can draw for the game you can't search anywhere else so that's our stockpile of equipment that we can get okay and that's important yep yeah, so we'll get the 20 cards so we won't look at the top 20 cards we'll shuffle them uh, raven will just take the 20 and then we'll make a deck and shuffle it all right so we got our 20 random cards we can get yeah. and then we'll just mix in the other Four, and then we'll have to separate them. Awesome. So Raven's going to shuffle those up, and then we'll put eight in each of the zones with objectives. Okay. So those zones are where we can search for items. Yeah. And we don't know where the two Molotovs are either, so... No. We'll need that for Cthulhu for sure. Absolutely. So we got everything set up. We got the piles of the stuff that we can draw. Yeah. And we're ready to start the game now, too. All right. So I got the Fire Axe, so I'll do Will and Audrey first. Okay. So, Audrey, I don't even really need the fire axe because everything's open already. Yeah. I'm just going to take Audrey and run into the zone with the Coke machine. One, two. And then I'm going to pick up the objective. So that's worth 10 already. So now she's in yellow. I think... Oh, and who's going to follow? Who's Cinnamon going to follow? Cinnamon can follow uh, Will, I think. Oh, okay. So I have one action left, and I'm going to pick up from that stockpile items. Let's see what it is. All right. Sub MG. Oh, that's going to be good for Triss, maybe. Cool. So Audrey's done. Uh, I'll do Will then. All right. So Will's going to go in there with Audrey. Okay. And then he's going to pick up the item two from the stockpile. Crowbar. I'm uh, going to put that in my backpack. And Cinnamon would have followed Will, because Cinnamon's following Will, we said. Right. What are you going to do? Um, Cthulhu only moves one, right? Yep. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to activate Trish first. She's going to go one, two, three. And then Dave is going to follow her. Okay. One, two, three. That's everybody? Yeah. So now we'll do the zombie face. So Kasulu would down be at five now. So we'll put that on his card. Okay. On five turns, everybody dies because it's uh, he kills everyone on the board if it gets to zero. Right. I don't. I don't want to take a wound right now to make that back up to six. No, six not yet. We don't even have a medic. Even if they get, they got good skills, but I don't think any of them have medic. Uh, I don't know if any lucky, of the other. Slippery. Nope. I don't know if the other Big Bang Theory characters, any of them have medic, but maybe that would make sense. Okay, so then Kasulu would move up one towards Mistress and Sheldon. Dave. And then we'll do spawning. So we'll do it in order. We'll start at one, then go to the blue, then go to the one by the daily bugle there. All right. So from number one. Let's see, there's a shooter zombie marker. We're not using shooter zombies. Yeah. That one spawns at blue level. Oh, no, yellow, because Audrey, so two runners. We spawn the two runners. One of them's the robber, so every hit he takes, he steals a weapon from you. Right. And then from the blue, because of the special rules, the blue one draws from the red level yes. each time. So, no shooter zombies again, because we're not doing it, but six walkers. So we do six there, and then the maid came too, or 
I think it's the waitress. And she gets another activation if she's in your zone. All right. And then there's a spawn right there. Oh, that's not the red level, though. Thankfully. So, yeah, the red one, that would have been bad. We would have had another abomination there. Yeah. Me, but Kasulu gets to go, gets to go one more. So at the end of the turn, we got Kasulu coming down and a couple more zombies coming. That him having that extra activation doesn't change his counter. Does yes, it, it does, because it's every okay. set dial eight time the Kasulu activates. So yeah, so it's at four now. Ah, oh, boo. Okay. And then we gotta trigger the doors too. So the door by the runners is at two. And then the door by the coke machines at three. And when that gets to zero, those doors open. Okay, so then I went first last time, so you go first. Okay. I forgot about the turn marker. Yeah. There you go. Uh, don't worry about Cthulhu, because Will's going to come out and shoot him with a shotgun and hopefully take him out, because he'll be able to do free damage with that. All right. Um, go for you guys. Mistress is going to go. She's going to come in here for one and pick up the pimp weapon. Or two. Let's see what we get. Mason Sledgehammer. <laughs> we got lucky there. So if you roll a six, you get plus one damage. So you can take out abominations with that too. Awesome. And you put that in your hand? Yes. Cool. And then... We'll have to watch two though, because there's only one way in, one way out of these buildings. I think, Except the... Except for the starting one. And then the one the doors open in the far buildings, so... You don't want to pin yourself in that building. No. But we do have some pretty good weapons and stuff now, so. Yeah. So, uh, she's going to stay there. That's all she's doing? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to, just in case Will's stuff doesn't go well, I don't want to pin her in there. No, that's a good idea. Okay. So, Dave is going to go. He's going to go one, two, pick up the objective. And now you got... 10 XP for that, so you're in yellow now. For his last one, he's going to pick up a, a draw. Okay, so what did you get? A bottle of water. Do you want to drink it? Yeah. So, we have two people in yellow so far, but we all have to get to red. Yeah. So this is a good mission, too, if you want to try out characters you want to get to red and see what they can do and stuff, too. Yeah. And that's... Now it's over to me. So I'm going to activate Will first. Let's see if I can do this with the shotgun. So he'll come out of the building for his second action. He'll shoot at, oh, he's not in, I forgot. Okay. He's only in blue because he didn't pick up the objective. Right. Audrey did. Okay. So for a second activation, he is going to shoot the shotgun at Cthulhu. I'm okay. not going to all out it because I don't want to lose that shotgun because that's going to do free damage. So two shots hitting on fours. And on fours. Oh. Oh, I got a four. Nice. So I'll put my noise token in. And we'll take Kasulu off. We killed him. You get AP for him? Yeah, I get five for him. Awesome. Yeah, we're used to... We've been playing Marvel Zombie side of it. It's not the toughness or anything in this one now. It's every abomination is worth five AP. Yeah, awesome. And he's still not in yellow yet. So he came out. He saw it. Uh, I'll wait like there too. Wait for zombies to come. So now it's Audrey's turn. Yeah. She'll search the blue, the stockpile there for one. Another sub MG. Oh, they're dual wield too. That's funny. So she's dual wield sub MGs now? Yeah. That would be really good for Miss Triss too. But no, she has a hammer. We all got, we're pretty good right now. Yeah. And this rules still apply for searching. So I can't continually searching that stockpile. Right. Okay, so uh, her next action then, I don't want to be right by that door, so she has three more things she can do. Yeah. I'm going to go down where Will is. That's... Yeah, he shouldn't come. Oh, yeah. No. Same with what I want with Will. Yeah. And then she's going to go and take Cinnamon with her. We'll take like, Cinnamon could follow whoever we want to follow her with. All right. And two more, she's going to go in front of the other building on the other side of the street over there. Yep. For her last two activations. Two. She searched, moved, moved, moved. Yep. So she's over there by that building. Cool. And that's my team. 
Now for the zombie phase, the walkers would move down one. And then the runners would move two towards us. Yeah. So from the first spawner, we're in yellow, so five uh, spawn and activate. So we put the lunch lady in there too. So if she's ever alone, you spawn a runner in her zone. Yeah. And then for the next spawn, the blue one, that's the one that's at red level. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's the abomination. Normally there wouldn't be one, but it spawns at red level, so we have abomination. Yeah. So what's abomination? Sewer crocodile. So we'll randomize who that follows. Mistress is one, Dave is two, Will is three, Audrey's four. And on a five and six, does it say we can? On a five and six, on a five we we'll re-roll, and on a six we get the pick. All right. Okay. The three, that's Will. Alright. Ignoring everybody and just coming for Will. Okay. That's okay, I got a shock and I'll deal with him. <laughs> yeah. And then from the next spawn. Extra activation. So Audrey does have zombie link. So she gets to have a free activation because she has zombie link. Alright. It's not rushes that you get. I'm going to double check that for extra activation. She gets another one. And all fatties. There is no fatties. No. Okay. So it is uh, when you draw extra activations, the person with zombie link gets the free activation. Okay. And if there's multiple ones, you just play out which one you want to do first. Right. The rushes, she doesn't get an extra activation. Okay. So her extra activation, I'm just going to move her into the building with the pimp up in, in front of her. There's no door on this side, though. Oh, yeah, the door's on the other side. I thought there was a door there. Weird. Okay, then her, because the zombie phase is done now, and I'm going first. Move her into the street so then I can start shooting some people. Over here? Yeah. With cinnamon. And I'm done. And then I'll start the next. At the end of the phase two, we would have marked down the door. So the door over there is at one. The other door is at two. I'm going to activate Audrey first. Okay. And she's going to shoot the double SMGs into that zone where the maid is. Awesome. And they're dual wield, so that's six dice total. Cool. Nine fives. Fives. Plus, it did okay. Cool. Two. So I'll take out the maid and the normal one. And she's going to do that again. Three, four. Jeez, she's wrong good. Yeah. Three more. And so do it again. Cool. So, five dice. Nothing that time. No. And again, so do it for last activation. She's in yellow. Cool. Got him. So, Audrey's done? Yeah. So I'm going to activate Will next. All right. Ooh, that's dangerous. Oh, and you're far, right? That's ooh, that's a pretty big gamble. I can move up twice and shoot the shotgun. But if I fail, I'm in a zone with two runners and the sewer crocodile. He'd get killed. Yes. So I have to roll a four on two dice. I can all out it, but then I could break it. Right. Hmm. He could go back in where he was and try to get that pimp weapon. But then if he draws an awe card because he's not in yellow, he's screwed, right? I'll let them come. The runners are going to come forward. We'll see what we'll do. Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to go back into the building because the sewer crocodile is going to come forward twice anyway. All right. So Will's going to move to where the pimp weapon is. Two. And he's going to pick up the pimp weapon. What weapon do I get? Gun Gun blade. blade. Nice. Oh, and that's a two damage one too. So now I don't have to worry about all out in the shotgun because I can have... That's a free damage gun blade I can do too. Nice. 
And I can use it as a melee attack too. Cool. So I'm gonna put the baseball bat in my backpack and the gun blade in my hand. So I got the shotgun and a gun blade. Cool. And he's done. So now it's over to you. So I'm gonna activate Dave first and he's going to draw from the pile in the room he's in. Okay. And he got plenty of bullets. Nice. I can see it in this camera or that one too, depending. Okay. Which works with the pistol, because he has a pistol. And he's going to go second, third, and then come out here with Amy. Or, sorry. Yeah, we'll be cutting Amy, Audrey. Sheldon, Audrey. For four. Okay. So he's done. I guess if you do a custom, that would be cool too if people do a custom game. That uh, if you're with the pair, like if she's with, if the pairs are together, they get bonuses too, maybe. Yeah, that'd be a cool idea. Uh, Miss Tress is next. She's going to come in here for one. Draw from this deck for two. And she got a sniper rifle. That You know that's pretty crazy with her because she is full auto, right? Yeah. So you could full auto a sniper rifle. So you could snipe people and shoot like 12 shots with a sniper rifle. Sounds good to me. Okay. So she's going to put the K-bar in her backpack. And she has plenty of bullets too, oh, right? Sniper rifle. Yes, she does. Nice. Sniper rifle in her hand. So she's crazy right now. So that was one to move, one to draw, and then one to go back here because she is still in blue. Yes. Yeah, so Will and Miss Triss are still in blue. Yeah. And that's everybody? Yeah. So we'll do the zombie. So let's do those runners and the crocodile. The crocodile would move two towards Will. So one, two. Ignoring everybody else. The runners would move towards us. One, two. And they're going to go by the blue spawn. And then by number one, the first spawn. Uh, we're in yellow, not orange yet. Nope. Uh, Audrey's close, so free walkers. So the mailman showed up too, so we'll draw for what's under his, well, what he has with him. Plenty of bullets. That's a lot. Yep. Blue spawn. Red Neville, so free runners. So the pizza guy showed up, so we get free XP if we get him. Awesome. And then from the last spawn, uh, yellow level still, so two spawn and activate walkers. So the crazy cat lady showed up too? Yep. So she'll throw cats for everyone that's in the zone that she's attacking. Cool. For one damage. And we'll remove the noise tokens, and then you'll start this turn. Oh, the door's open too. So, Well, one door opens. So number one is counted down to zero now. So that green door is now open. So we can go through there, or they can too. And then by the cope, it's at one. Next turn, that's going to be open. Yep. So who are you going to activate first? I'm going to activate Dave first, and he's going to swing his kukri in the zone with... The runners and the sewer crocodile. So unlike Marvel Zombies, this one doesn't have melee priority, so you can still target the runners. Yeah, luckily. We would have been in trouble there if we couldn't. So it is two dice, hits on fours. That's two damage. Got one. So he's going to do that again. Nice. So, he only does, yeah, it's two damage, right? Yeah, you can't kill the super crocodile. He's going to ignore us anyway because he's coming after Will. Yeah. So, he has two activations left. He's going to use one to move past the super crocodile, move over here for two. Yeah, it costs one activation to go past him. Yes. Because you don't have slippery? No. Triss now? She's going to come out here for one to shoot into that zone where all of the zombies Everything are is? right now. So you have full auto, right? Yes. So full auto, how it works is you get to roll dice equal to the amount of attacks you're going to into the zone you're shooting at. So how many zombies are there? Uh, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get to roll 10 dice. Okay. And, uh, oh, it's one to free the sniper, right? Yes. Okay. 
and you get to re-roll those because you have plenty of you're gonna shoot your full auto sniper rifle <laughs> at that zone yep okay. hits on threes that's a pretty good roll <laughs> four ones but uh, but with plenty of bullets what does it say you may re-roll all attacks with but with the bullet symbol weapons once. The new result takes the place of the previous one. Maybe used in back. So you have to re-roll everything. So do you like that roll or do you want to re-roll everything? Um I like that roll. Okay. Because I got I got five. One, two, three, four, five. So you yeah. got half. Yeah. Okay, so you can take and it's sniper, so you get to pick. Five off. So I took five off, including the crazy cat lady and the pizza guy. And then the two runners too, right? Yeah. So I got the five of the for the each of them, and then two more for the pizza guy because he's three. So that pushed Trish into yellow now. So she has two more activations. She does. So she's gonna do that again at that same group. Good idea. Less dice now, but still. So works. there's five zombies there. Yeah. Five dice. I was gonna say you can move up and hit him with a sledgehammer. But no, the is working. I'll move up. We'll deal with the super crocodile. Okay. So, five dice. Hits on threes. We got two more. Yep. Oh, you have plenty of bullets. Do you want to re-roll that? Yes. That one has to stay. Yep. So, you got three. That's better than the other one. So, she's going to do that one last time. And the sniper rifle normally has, what, only one shot? Yes. So you still get two shots. That works. Yeah. So, hits on threes. Got him. Nice. Yeah, I think six survivors would have been kind of overkill. It would have been took us longer to get to red, too. It might have made filming longer, because then we'd have to have two more survivors to get to red. Yeah. We have some pretty strong survivors, so I think it works out for us. So far, I don't want to jinx it, but... Yeah. So... I'm done. So it's over to my team? Yeah. So I'm going to activate Audrey. I want to get her out of that zone just so when Will comes that he doesn't misfire and hit her by accident. Good idea. So it's going to take me two activations to go in the next zone in front of her. So one, two. For her third activation, she'll go into the building. I don't want to pick up that objective for her because she's already very close to orange. I want someone that's trailing to pick that one up. All right. So I won't take that. Oh, I got to remember that door's open, though, now that zombies can go in there. Yeah. Uh, she has one more thing. I'm going to pick up the pip weapon with her. Right. What pimp weapon do I get? Prized Prize katana. katana. Nice. One damage, but nice, lot, nice amount of attacks. Yeah. Hits on threes, too. I'm going to put that in her hand. I'm not going to dual wield the sub-MGs right now. Okay. Just in case if I need the melee attack. Yeah. Because the sub-MGs do a lot of attacks, but I still want to hit on fives. Right. And that's her. I now will activate Will. Okay. So Will will move one, two zones next to the sewer crocodile. I only have one activation left. But I'm going to all out the shotgun, just in case. I need fours. All right. So hitting on fours. One, four, one. Oh, that's bad. So he broke it, and he didn't roll a single four. Boo. Okay. I have no activation theft, so he's going to get bit by the sewer crocodile in that phase. Uh-oh. He'll move and then hit me for one. Yeah. That's all I can do. So now it's the zombie phase. So the sewer crocodile moved up one, and then his next activation is going to attack Will. And he attacked Will for one damage. Right. Because it doesn't do two. He just has two activations. Yeah. So Will takes one damage. He's at two. Looks like the rocket's in the crocodile's mouth. Yeah. And then we already moved up the zombies and they split because they were five away to the noisiest zone. Yes. Even though Amy, Audrey was right there, they're going towards the noisiest zone because they didn't see anybody yet. Right. And we did open the door, but it opens at the end of the round. Yeah. So... Even when we spawn on that spawn, though, they're not going to go through the building yet because technically the door's not open yet. We just opened it. Right. So from the first spawn, 
extra, that's rush. So Audrey doesn't get an activation. It's only extra activation she gets to use Zombie Link. Right. Walker Rush, Rush card, she doesn't get to use Zombie Link. Okay. And we're still in yellow, right? Yeah. Yes. So six walkers. And they spawn and activate. So six spawned, and just like the other ones that walked, they would split because they're five away from a noisier zone. Yeah. Both ways. So free went in the building and free went the other way. Yeah. And then the office worker went there too. So we get to look at the top three cards if we kill her. Cool. So from the blue spawn, now this is at red level, no matter what we're at. Free runners. So skate biter came, and the first activation, they get to move up to two zones. So they can move free in one turn. Okay. And then the next one. That's at normal, so six. So the ballerina spawned there too? She did. So next turn, if Will doesn't move, she can jump through the building and leap at him. And then it will go over to my turn. Yep. So I'm going to activate Will first. Okay. And try to shoot my gun that's in the crocodile's mouth. <laughs> uh, so it's two dice. Hitting on force. It does right. two damage, but I get plus one damage because of his ability. Cool. So I need fours. Got it. Awesome. So, Sewer Crocodile's gun. So that's his first activation. For his second activation, I'm going to move into the building, the supermarket there, and try to shoot at some of those zombies that just spawned. All right. So same thing, two dice hitting on fours. I got nothing. Boo. But it's a noise token. And for his last move, he's going to move back outside where he was before. Okay. I'm going to use Audrey and she's going to come out into the street. Okay. With Cinnamon. Then I'm going to all out the sub MG into that zone with the rudders. Okay. So hitting on fives. Didn't break it surprisingly, but I did get one, so I'm gonna get the skateboarder. She's going to do that again because I want those runners dead. Okay. Hitting on fives. She did it. Those all else helped. So the two runners are dead. So she's the first one to hit orange, and she has plus one die range or plus one to die to dice roll in melee. Oh, plus one to dice roll melee. I said it was ranged. Uh, I'm going to do, yeah, plus one to dice roll melee. So that means my sword hits on a three now, not on a four. Okay. She has one more thing she can do. She moves back one, and she's done. All right. And that's everybody on my team. I'm going to activate Miss Triss first. She's going to move up here with Audrey. Um, Will already has a damage on him, right? Yep. So she's going to move in here with Will. And we can't shoot through buildings, so she's not going to try to snipe through. Yeah, because you can't shoot through multiple floors of the buildings. Yeah. But you can see into the first zone, so you see there. And then you can see, I forget if you can see out into the next one. Yeah. So you don't have home defender, so you can't shoot through the building. I figured. So she's done two things. I think she's just going to stay there. Do you want to trade? Do, do any have anything in there? No, not really. Okay. I have a K bar, but. Uh, can you, yeah, do you want to trade me and I'll take the K bar because that will help with my gun blade? Yeah. So. And I can, do you need a baseball bat or a crowbar? Do you have any, ma no, you have a mason sledgehammer. I have mason sledgehammer. And a sniper. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So you're done? Yeah. And then Dave. I have Dave. Uh, I kept thinking I wanted to go into one of those buildings and try to pick up something else, but I don't think it's a good idea to go forward, but he's going to go one, two, and pick up one of these for three. 
He's only in... Oh, no, he has... No, he's in yellow. Okay. Chainsaw. Nice. Cool. So he's going to put the Kukri in his backpack and the chainsaw in his hand. You got one more activation. And then he's going to go here. So it's left. Okay. And then it's the zombie phase. Yeah. So the ballerina would... She's two away, so she can go... Even though she can go, it's going into a building, she can jump through it. So she's going to jump into Will's zone. And there's Triss's. Two. And then the other zombies would come straight through the building. The zombies move, so now we'll do spawning. So from number one. Extra activation. So that is extra activation. So Audrey gets to go first. What is she going to do? Oh, it's okay. It's running, so it's, we don't have to worry about the da the ballerina because I didn't want her to go, right? Right. But her extra activation will be to move into the zone with everybody else with cinnamon because cinnamon falls. Now all the runners get to go. Well, we don't have any left because we, we killed them. Phew, that was lucky. Yeah. Okay. So from the next one by the Daily Bugle, and this is at red level. Another extra activation. Let's <laughs> put that, cut that, and we'll do that. So they're not right next to each other? Yep. So. All walkers. All walkers get to go. Lucky. That's why it was a coincidence. I know that was there. But uh, Audrey is going to get to go first and attack that ballerina before she gets to go. Awesome. So I'm going to attack with my prize katana. It's four dice. Normally hits on a four, but I plus one, two dice roll melee. So I hit on the three. Nice. That'll do. Got it. So she's the highest one now. She's at 20. Cool. Now all the walkers get to go. And then we'll do the last spawn by the Coke machine up there. Uh, I am in orange now because Audrey, so seven walkers. So we're out of daily walkers, So, but there's seven walkers over there by the Coke machine? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to activate Miss Trish, and she is going to swing Mason's sledgehammer, which is four dice. Hits on fives. That's two damage. And on sixes, because he said we got Warcry dice there. Yeah. It does three damage, right? Yeah. So that's two. So she will do that again. Dice again, you're. What does it hit on? Hits on fives. That's two she's done now. Two things. Um, and I think she's going to go three, four. Over there. Okay, and Cinnamon's not following you? No. Okay. Um, now we have Dave. Dave has a pistol, which doesn't have the best range in the world. And the chainsaw. Okay. So Dave is going to come out here for one. He's going to go here for two. And he's going to shoot the pistol for three. Are you going to all out it? You have, you can't re-roll all out dice. That doesn't come up too much often, but you do have plenty of bullets. Yes. So he's going to all out it. But I can't, I can re-roll the regular dice, just not the all out yeah. dice. Okay. So two dice hits on threes. Awesome. He has one action left? Yeah. You guys are probably going to come clear a bunch of that up, right? Yeah. You can stay there and shoot again if you want. Yep. He's going to do the same thing. Uh, all out. Got one. He's at 18 now. Oh, you're not at orange yet? Not quite. Okay. So Mine are just on the verge. Both of them? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's okay to put the uh, wheels a little behind, so I'll catch him up. Okay. Surprising. Oh, he just two. He killed two abominations. That's how he got XP, but he's not close to orange yet. Right. So it's over to me? Yep. Will? 
and Cinnamon will move with him. And I'll go next to where Dave is. For my second action, I'm going to shoot the gun blade. So it's two dice. Awesome. Hitting on fours. Got one. I'll take the secretary off. So when we spawn, we can look at the top three cards and then put them in any order. Okay. So for my third action, I'm going to shoot again. All right. Fours. I got one more. And I'll take the post office guy. And that gives me... Plenty of bullets. Nice. Okay. Oh, it works with the gun blade too. Cool. Yep. Awesome. And for my force action, I'm going to do that again. Okay. Double ones. Lucky that wasn't all out. <laughs> nice. I'm going to re-roll that because of plenty of bullets. Yep. And it hits on four. So one more. So he's done. He's at 13. Awesome. Audrey's going to go. We'll let them come. Let's just make a base in the center here for now. Okay. So Audrey's going to move over next to Will. She's going to shoot the sub-MG into the zone there for her second action, hitting on fives. Sounds good. I got one. For her third action, she's going to do that again. Okay. Got one more. So she's at 22 now. Nice. And for her last action, I'm just going to shoot into that zone again. One more. Put it up. So we got all the noise in that zone now. Yeah. And everybody's done. So now it's the zombie space. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's the same distance free away. So those zombies would split and come towards us. So they split, and now we're going to do spawning. So from number one, extra activation. So Audrey gets to go. Okay. Audrey's going to use her free action now to change her weapons around, and she's going to put the two sub-MGs in her hand. Awesome. So she's dual wielding them both now. All right. Now all the walkers get to go again. I've noticed, have we got a single fatty card yet? We got an extra activation fatty. I haven't seen any fatty. What the, where the hell fatties. are all the fatties? Okay. So the blue spawn, and that's at red level. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? What? The distributor, because you killed the... Oh, the it's, already, it's already passed that. We forgot. It's okay. Okay. We forgot about it. See if it makes a difference. Red, 10. Yeah, would I have put that anywhere else? Spawn and activate? No, I think... Yeah, they're coming down. That's okay. So, yeah, we forgot about the strategy, but that's okay. Okay. So, those toe, toe, those 10 zombies spawned and came into that zone? Yeah. And then the last one by the Coke machine. There are some fatties. And we are in orange, so four fatties. So, the fatty spawned, and we got the welder over there. So, if we roll a six, he blows up like a Molotov. Yes. Or we get to keep him to fix our weapons if we, all, if we don't roll a six. Right. So, it will be my turn. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to activate Will, okay. and he's going to take his gun blade and shoot into the horde of zombies in front of us. Sounds good. And I'm going to, I know I won't have enough to kill him, so I'm going to do two activations and shoot twice. Okay. So that's four dice total for All two right. activations and two noise tokens. Hitting on fours. Only got one. Ah. I'm actually going to re-roll all those because I have plenty of bullets. Okay. Keep going out. Uh, let's see if I got one. I got two, so one more comes off. His next activation, I'll use two activations again and shoot twice again with a gun blade. All right. Two more noise. Fours. I'm not re-rolling that. That's three. Yep. So it looks like there's nine left in there now. Yep. And he's just at 18. He's almost at orange. Awesome. So I'm going to activate Audrey now. Okay. And she's going to shoot in that zone with the sub-MGs, dual wielding. So she gets six shots hitting on fives. Sounds good. Not a single one. Wow. Lots of fours, though. Jeez. 
She's gonna do that again. Same zone. All right. Fives. One. Okay, one off. For her third activation, she's gonna do that again. Okay. Fives. Man, that's some pretty but free. I rolled 18 dice and only hit once. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And for her last activation, she's gonna try that one more time. Alright. There's two. So that's my team, so it's over to you. Yep. So I'm gonna activate Miss Tris. Trish, sorry, Miss Trish first, and she's going to sniper into that zone with the six zombies. Hits on threes. She got everything. Yeah, that, that made up for my crappy rolls. Holy crap! That yep. was so six. All of them did. Yep. So Miss Trish is in orange now. So I picked one free ranged action as her orange ability. So what's her other action that she can take instead of uh, oh, the other one she can take is tough. But I think in this situation, we're trying to get to red and that being able to shoot more is probably a good idea. OK, so she did that one shot. That was her first activation. Second, she's going to come in here with everybody else. And she's going to shoot. For her third, actually for her free ranged action, she's going to shoot at those three. Okay, and it's one to, what's the range on this? One to three. Okay. Hits on threes. It's passing again, nice. Yeah, because that's a war card, guys. Yeah. That's a six. Yep, yep, that's a six. So we've got a pile of noise tokens there. Luckily we don't have the bad abomination anymore. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. Okay. And you have, you shot, you moved, free activation. You got two activations left. I think she's good. Okay. So now I have Dave. Everything seems to be cleared up. Does Dave want to try to go get that that objective, the last one? You can push him 10 more XP. Yeah, I think he's going to do that. Okay. So he's going to go here for one, here for two, pick this up for three. So his orange abilities are Lucky and Slippery. And I think in this mission, Slippery would probably be more useful, so I'm going to pick Slippery. Because you already got plenty of bullets anyway for rerolling. Yeah, and then his last activation, he's going to come back out to the street. You'll be right in front of the blue spawner if you do that. Oh, yeah, and then if somebody gets double activations, I'm screwed. Okay, no, he's going to stay there, and for his last activation, maybe he'll try to pick up from that pile. Okay. And they got a snot off. Nice. Cool. So he's going to put the pistol in his backpack and the sawed off in his hand. And then he's done. So it's a zombie phase? Yeah. So the fatties would split because they're the same distance to the noisiest zone? Yeah. And then we'll do spawning. So from number one, we are not in, we're in orange, so four runners. So the runners showed up. Uh, do we have any more daily runners, or was that? Nope. Oh, okay. Out. Okay. And then red level by the daily bugle. There's a fatty. Spawn and activate. So the unicorn fatty showed up. Yep. We kill that one. We get a skill over choice. Cool. And the last one, uh, orange, so five walkers spawn and activate. So equal distance of three, so they split. Yep. And then it will be your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to activate uh, Dave first. He's going to use his newly acquired slippery skill to go one, two, out here with everybody. And that's it, because the sawed off only does one damage. Hmm. So before you slipped, did you want to attack with a chainsaw before you went off? Yeah, that's a good Because you, you have a chainsaw, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. So 
<laughs> Rewind his turn? Restart. Okay. So, he's going to go one in and there. Then chainsaw? <laughs> then chainsaw. How many dice? Five. Are you all in or going normal? Uh, just normal. Okay. Hits on fives. You've been rolling pretty good this game. Yeah. So, three of them. So, for his skill for killing the unicorn, he's going to take Reaper Combat. Which means we get one more. And you get that skill till the end of your next turn. Yes. He will do that again. Five dice. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> so for his last activation, he's going to go here with the group. And what's he at now? He is now at 33. So he's close. Yes. Ten more and he's in red? Yes. Um, I'm going to activate Miss Trish now. She's going to use her sniper rifle to shoot at... The group that's on the blue spawner. And you have full auto. And it does two damage, right? Yes, it does. Nice. So there's three, four, five there. Okay. If you get a six, you blow up the zone because of yeah. the welder. So hits on threes. Oh, no six. But you get three of them. Yeah. And I'm not going to re-roll. And then she will do that again. Two dice this time. It's on threes. No. You can re-roll it with plenty of bullets, though. So. I'm going to re-roll that. Got one. Now she will use her free-ranged action to try to hit the welder. So. And it's dead. Yep. And you can keep it now. If you break a weapon, you can fix it. Cool. So, she has two activations left. Um, no, there's no point in moving over there. I'm trying to shoot them right now. Uh, no, nobody needs any of the stuff I have, right? No, I think we're good. I think she's good. She's done. I so, can't think of anything else. So, it's my turn? Yeah. So, I'm going to activate Will, the dog too, over to the next zone. So I'm going to shoot into that zone for my second accent. All right. Uh, only two shots. Hits on fours. I got one. So I'll take the fatty out because it does two damage. Awesome. You can have Gunslinger or Slippery. Gunslinger doesn't come up too much. You can have any uh, ranged weapon counts as you can dual wield it. Ooh. It's kind of like a sword master. Yeah. But for weapons. With, for uh, guns. Cool. But I'm going to pick Slippery, because just in case it gets bad when we get overwhelmed, yep. I'm going to get Slippery instead. Sounds good. I have two activations left. Yep. He's going to shoot again into that zone. Okay. I get, I'll i kill the fatty. And I'm going to move back into the group with everybody else. And he's done. Audrey's going to move next to the convenience store, it looks like, over there. Then she's going to shoot the dual-wielding sub-MGs. Hitting on fives. Okay. Again, nothing. Oh, boo. She's rolled, like, so many dice and hasn't hit too much. Yeah. She's going to do that again. You got one. And for our last activation, she'll move backwards, everybody. So that's everybody. So it's the zombie phase. Yep. So those runners are going to move too. So the zombies moved. Yep. And now it's spawning. So at number one. No one's in red yet, so seven walkers. So now from the blue spawner, so this is going to be at red. Five runners. So from the last spawn, ten walkers. 
And we got everybody set up there. And it will be my turn next. Yes. So I'm going to activate Will and you'll bring Cinnamon up to the next zone. So I'm going to shoot into the zone, into the building with the two runners. All right. Hitting on fours. Got them both. For a third activation, he's going to shoot into the zone in front of him. Okay. Hitting on fours. All right. I'll take one, and they're all runners in there, right? Yes. Yeah, so I can hit them. If there was a walker, I'd have to hit the walker first. So one runner's gone. He's going to shoot again. Okay. For his last activation. All right. I'm going to re-roll that because I have plenty of bullets. Okay. One more runner. So he's at 24 now. Cool. I'm going to activate Audrey. She's okay. going to move up where Will is. For her second action, she's going to shoot to dual sub MGs. Okay. That was better. That made up for all her other rolls. There we go. That's everything but one hit. So yeah. five runners. That's all of them. That went way better than I expected. Yeah. So that was her second thing. Uh, we don't know. I'm going to go third. I'm going to go into the building for free. And I'll bring Cinnamon with me, just in case I need that extra wound. Yep. And I'm going to search in that building. And I got a chainsaw. I'll put the chainsaw in my hand, because just in case if I have to do some melee coming up soon. Right. So I'll put the chainsaw in my hand. Okay. And that's my team. So I'm going to... Activate Miss Trish first. Miss Trish first. She's going to move over here for one and swing Mason's sledgehammer for two. Four dice hits on fives. Maybe we'll try that. Okay, so she's going to move here. And then she's going to use her free range action to shoot at those zombies with the sniper rifle. So 10 dice hits on threes. So one, two, three. You have plenty of bullets. You want to reroll that? Yeah. Yeah. It's only 30%. Yeah. So we're going to reroll. That's ah, better. That is much better. Every single but one hit. So you killed nine. Holy crap. So she's at 39 now. It's pretty close. Yeah. She's going to lose her use her last activation to move back here. That's good. Yeah. And then we have Dave. Not a whole lot for Dave to do. You want to come get an item in a building? Yeah, and was just debating whether I should go your way or go the way that Miss Trish went. There's more wounds that's going to come from those zombies, maybe, so protecting her might help. Yes, so we're going to do that. So, one, two, pick this up for three. And there's the Molotovs. Hello. Okay. And that's good for Dave, because he has two Molotovs are better than one. Yes. So, he's going to get rid of his gray pistol... Put the sawed off in his backpack and put the Molotov in his hand. That works. Yeah. So just in case another abomination shows up. Yes. So he has one activation left. Does Audrey want plenty of bullets? You don't need... Yeah, I'll take it. I'll give you... Do you have any... You do have melee too. Uh, I'll give you the fire axe just to get it off my inventory. All right. Nice. So if I... Go back to my sub MG dual wield. That will help. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Okay, and that's everybody. Yeah. So we'll do the zombie activation now. Okay. So all those zombies, still the noisiest zone, is Will's zone. So they're gonna move towards Will. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they'll split again. Okay. Half will go into the building. Half will go down the street. 
So all the zombies moved, they split, and the other one went towards Miss Triss in the building? Yeah. And now we'll do spawning. So by the taco truck. We are not in red yet. So 10, spawn and activate. So they will still split because the noisiest zone is still Will's zone. Because even if we say Cinnamon makes a noise because she's barking, Will still has four noise in there. Yeah. So five and five. So we got a big cord over there. Yeah. And now it's at red spawn at the blue spawner. Eight walkers. So we got a nice little horde over there now. Yeah. And then from the last spawn, which is the highest one still is orange right now. Three fatties. Spawn and activate. And he spawned the sumo in there, so we can't move into that zone. He can move into our zone, but we can't move into the sumo zone. No. And that's everybody, so then you'll go next. Yes. All right, so uh, first I'm going to activate Miss Trish, and she is going to shoot one shot sniper at that walker that's in the building. Nope, that didn't work. Um. So she's going to move here and then she's going to use her free ranged action to shoot the sniper rifle at that pack of walkers and fatties. So 11 shots? Yes. Hits on threes. You got eight? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll take that. Okay. So Mistress got into red. So her two reds, her three red skills actually, are plus one to dice roll combat, hit and run, and sniper. She already has the sniper rifle, so we don't really need sniper. And because of you know the whole point of this, the whole point of this mission was to get into red. So now that she's already in red, we're gonna do hit and run. So she has movement as well. So when she kills something, she can move. Yes. So that was her free combat action. So now she still has two activations left. So she's going to shoot at those last three that are up there. So hits on threes. Got two. So Tris hit. So she's going to move over here for hit and run. And then with her last activation, she's going to try to hit that one lone zombie again. So... It's on threes. There we go. Now that you got hit and run, are you going to come back into the center of the street? Yeah. And you hit yellow for the second time now, right? Yes, it is. So did. you don't get another ability. When you hit orange for the second time, you get your second orange ability because we play. I forget what that mode is, but it's like super mode or air. I forget what the hell it's called. But we're playing that once you get to red, you can recycle and get your other skills. Yeah. Which they don't have in Marvel Zombies, too, I remember, too. You don't get... Maybe maybe superhero mode. Yeah. They will. Okay. So, now I have Dave. Dave has a Molotov. And you have that group in front of us. We want to try to get to red. There's no abominations, but what, you just want to throw it there to try to push you to get to red? Yes. And he's going to toss that there. Okay, so you want to roll the dice to see if you keep it. On a 4+, plus, you get to keep it. Yes. So Yay. it comes back, the rules say it comes back in his backpack. It doesn't come back in his hand. So you'll have to get rid of something in your backpack. All right. I'm going to ditch the fire axe. Okay. It doesn't, uh, you don't get to throw it and then it miraculously comes back in your hand. You get, uh, well, miraculously comes back in your backpack, but it doesn't <laughs> come back in your hand. All right. All right. So for his next activation, he is going to draw from that pile. So let's see. Oh, oh, no. I didn't see it on my cam, but it's on. That one? Yeah. Oh. So, it didn't say anything in the rules about if they all have to be equipment, but it said randomly from the equipment deck, so that's part of the equipment deck. All right. Also, I don't think that's ever come up. When you draw from the equipment deck, you get a free organization of your equipment. Mm -hmm. If an all card comes up, do you still get the free organization of your equipment? 
I don't know. That's a good question. Because what triggers it? The item or just a draw? Because it's two different things. Yeah. Because you didn't technically get an item, the zombie card, I don't think you would organize it for free. I didn't see it in the rule book when I quickly glanced at it. It might be in some of the rules somewhere in there, but I didn't see it when it says about the searching. If you happen to know where it is, if it's in there, let us know. I saw about you can only search one time and stuff. but Right. So he's going to chainsaw that zombie. <laughs> okay. For activation number three. Oh, he needed five. None. He needed fives. Oh, boo. Okay. Uh, Audrey can handle one of them, right? Oh, yeah. I got this chainsaw, sub-MG. Okay. So it's okay if I slip out to the street? Yeah. Okay. So for his last activation, he's going to come out here with Will. And then that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to activate Audrey. Okay. And she's going to attack with her chainsaw in that zone. Awesome. Getting on fives. I got it. She will search from that pile. Bag of rice. So I'm going to get rid of my chainsaw. Okay. I'll put the sub MG in my hand. I'll put the bag of rice in my backpack. And then I'll eat the bag of rice. Okay. For free AP. All right. So I'm at 36. All right. I have two more things I can do. I'm going to come out here. For one. Mm -hmm. And then she has one more activation. I'm going to shoot the sub-MG dual wield at that one zombie there, at the blue. All right. Putting on sixes. Uh, fives. Which we rolls. I hit. So Cinnamon came out too with me? Yep. Uh, I'm going to activate Will, and he'll go in on top of the blue spawner, up one. That's for one action. For his second action, he'll shoot the gun blade. Okay. For his third action, he'll shoot the gun blade again. I'm doing this twice. Okay. And when I'm done, I'm going to move back. All right. So that's two noise tokens. Fours, which re rolls. I'm gonna re roll that. Okay. Fours. All right. Two. And for my last activation, I'm gonna move back towards the group. And that's my team. So it'll be the zombie phase, so the zombies will move up. So spawning from number one. Uh, no, oh, we are in red now. Yes. So four runners. So from the blue spawner, we are all, all of them are red now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So this one is still red, but four runners. And from the last spawner, three fatties. So all the zombies have spawned, and it's going to be our turn. Yeah. So Audrey's going to shoot into the zone in front of her. Okay. Getting on fives, rolls. I got one. I'll re-roll it. Okay. That's better. Look, I re-roll it. So that's four, four. right? Yeah. Yep. So I took the four walkers out. Yes. The first shot, and she's going to shoot again. All right. This guy. I'm still not going to all out it, though. So three shots. Plus another three because I'm dual wielding. Okay. Another noise token. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll those with plenty of bullets. Wow. Okay. It's a good thing she traded for that. Holy moly. Yeah. And I got one. I still gotta take a walker though because there's still walkers in there. For her third action, she's going to do that again. Okay. Uh, I'll re-roll it. I want to try to get those walkers off of there so then we can deal with the runners. Yeah. So I'll re-roll it. Okay. Come on, B. 
give me two. There we go. I'm glad that we rolled it free. Awesome. That was above average. So two walkers and a runner. So there's three runners left. Yes. I got one more activation. I did go into red though now. Cool. So I can get three combat action, bloodlust combat, or hit and run. Uh, I'm going to take hit and run at this point now. I think that's a good idea. It's the same thing I did with Miss Trish. So she's at 45 now because we're redoing it. Yeah. So I have one more activation. Uh, I am going to now all out the sub MMGs. So that's three all out dice per one. So that's six, 12 dice total. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully getting one. This is my last activation. We put a noise token there too. Hopefully killing one so I can hit and run and go back where Trish is. I better get at least two fives. That would be great. Yeah. So. All the dice. All the dice. I certainly broke both of them because there's two, two breaks, but I got two fives. One of three, but yep, two fives, two are dead. I broke both SMGs, so they're gone. Yep. And I'll do hit and run and move back where Triss is. So she is now in red, so she can now escape. I'm gonna, do we all have to be at red? So... The objective is one reach the red danger ever with all survivors. So we all have to be at red, then we can go to the end one. Right. So I can't get off the board now with Audrey right now if I wanted to. Okay. But, or you couldn't get off with Triss's. Right. Right? So we everybody has to get the red first before we can go back to the shelter. Okay. So I'm going to activate Will. Sounds good. He's at 30, so I still got a bit for him. Okay. Uh... He's going to shoot the gun blade at that runner that's on the blue spawn zone. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to move up where the runner is for one action. Bring in, yeah. <laughs> Bring the cinnamon. For my second action, I'm going to attack with the gun blade because it's four dice to attack. It's better at attacking them. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Cool. Getting on fours. I got it. Awesome. For his third action, I'm going to attack the gun blade at two fatties. Well, there's three there, but I'm going to try to hit two of them. Okay. Fours. I got two fatties. And for my last activation, I'm going to move back to where Sheldon is. And that's my team, so it's over to you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to activate Dave. His name is actually Dave. He's going to go here for one, here for two, and he's going to chainsaw that fatty. So I'm going to attack the fatty with the chainsaw. So it is five dice and hits on fives. Got him? So now he's at 42. For his last activation, he's going to go in here. She's going to go here for one, here for two. She's going to pick up from that drop pile for three. And she got a sawed off. Nice. She's going to put that in her backpack, and then she's done. Okay. So that's your team? Yep. So it goes to the zombie phase now. So those... Runners on the corner there are going to move up too. And that's all the zombies on the board. Yep. So now we'll do spawning. So from number one. Six runners. So now at the blue spawn. Eight walkers. And they'll spawn and activate. So they'll go right where Will is. And the last spawn. Six fatties. So everything spawned, and then it's going to be Raven's turn. Yes. So I'm going to activate Dave first. He's going to put the Molotov that magically appeared back in his backpack in his hand. And he is going to toss it at this group of fatties. Okay, and that will bring him into red. Yes. So you want to roll a dice to see if he gets to keep it? Yes. Four plus. 
Nope. So he gets discarded. So he got his AP from tossing the Molotov, and he's in red now. And we got to have, I have to pick his red skill. He has plus one die ranged, plus one to dice roll ranged, and lucky. So we're coming pretty close to the end here. I don't know if you know, it's going to make a difference. And he doesn't have a ranged weapon in his hand anyway. So I'll pick lucky. So you got the lucky skill now. So that lets you re-roll dice if you want to. It's like plenty of bullets or plenty of shells. You can re-roll all the dice. Okay. And you don't have to have plenty of bullets or plenty of shells to do that. You can do it with anything like melee or with shooting. So for his last two activations, first he's going to go here. Then he's going to go here. Now I'm going to activate Miss Triss. Um, she, I think, is just going to come down one, two, and then she's going to be done. So we're just going to get Will now to red. Yes. So Will is going to attack with a gun blade in that zone. So it's four dice hitting on fours. That's two. That's his first action. All right. His second action, he's going to shoot the gun blade at the runners in front of him. Okay. It's on twos with rerolls because I got plenty of bullets. Okay. I'll take it. I'll kill one. For his third action, he's going to shoot at that runner again on okay. fours. Got him. For his fourth action, he's going to attack in that zone. Oh, there's runners right next to him, too. I didn't even see those in the building. Yeah. So, for his last action, then, he's not going to attack them because Audrey does not have a ranged weapon anymore. Right. Because he broke the SMGs. Right. So, he's going to slip past to the next zone where Audrey is. Okay. With cinnamon. So, he's at 37. All right. Audrey... Is going to switch her weapons and put the prize katana. Actually, she's going to trade. I totally forgot that too, but whatever. It's the end. I have a K bar in Will's hand, okay. so he would have got an extra dice for each melee attack he did. I'm looking at the gun blade. I forgot it's a melee weapon. Right. You had plus one for each equipped melee weapon. But because the gun blade's a melee and range, does that mean it doesn't count? Even though you could have put the K bar on the gun, but I won't. We'll just put it to... I'm going to trade it to Audrey anyway. Okay. So Audrey's going to trade with Will. And Will's going to give her the K-Bar. She's going to put her place, Bryce Katana in her hand. Okay. Will's going to put the baseball bat in his hand. All right. For her second action, she's going to move... Ooh, hidden one. Is there... Uh... Because I can go there, but hit and run doesn't let you slip. Right. So I don't want to get caught in that zone. Okay. So I'm just going to wait there and All let right. them come to me. Okay. So that's everybody. So now we'll do the zombie phase. So the zombies all moved. Yeah. So now we'll do spotting. So over by the taco truck. Oh, one abomination. What abomination is it? Oh, abductor. So at the end of his activation, if he see, has a line of sight to someone, he will dump them. Right. Which will be bad in this one. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now from a blue spawn. Nine walkers spawn and activate. So they're getting closer to us too? Yep. And then from the last spawn point. Over there. Four fatties spawn and, and activate. So there's a lot of zombies on the board now, and it's my turn next. Yes. I'm going to attack with Will first. Okay. He's going to use a gun blade. Four attacks, heading on fours. All right. 
You got three of them. Nice. For a second activation, he's going to attack again. All right. Fours. Oh, nice. That, you made up. Yeah, that's going to get under red. So four. I'm going to take the two runners because there's no target priority in melee in this. Right. So he reached red now, so we're all in red. So I think we can get off of here this turn. Awesome. Uh, he has plus one die combat, one free combat action, full cool expert. I'm going to just do free combat action because I want to get off the board and get this done all right. fast. Yeah. So I'm going to use my free combat action now to attack that one walker in my zone. Awesome. And he's dead. For my last two activations, I'm just going to walk into the safe house with cinnamon. So for my last action was Audrey, she's going to move two into the safe house. And that's it. Now we're all in red. And now we can go into the safe house and that ends the mission. Nice. So that was a little tough. I think it would, I don't know if it would probably take longer with six survivors. And we had some pretty strong ones. Yeah, I have to say, they had some pretty cool, their, their abilities are pretty cool. Yeah, and I forget about the other uh, Raj, I forget what he does, or Leonard, I forget what they're... I think, I think, I, did we get Penny? No, I don't think we got no, Penny. No, we didn't end up getting no. Penny. But maybe eventually we'll get them and try. I know there's a... I think there's another comic book extras one coming out, so there might be more missions than that that we could try out. Maybe we'll try that with the other Big Bang guys. That's cool. That's a good idea. But, you know, we'll put these guys up in the store, too, when we're done, too. Yeah, because Miss, Miss Trish has some cool... With full auto and everything, she has some cool stuff. Yeah, and having so, Will Will's blue ability, that's really strong to get plus one damage at range that uh, blue ability you're already doing free damage yeah it's awesome and two cocktails better than one is always good we had that in one of the other uh the other characters i think yeah brahm has right? it at red if you unlock the kid the macaulay culkin kid yeah and hayden who's neil degrasse tyson i think that's that guy has i think that's his character has it at blue too yeah yeah it's a cool ability cool oh and i just just realized uh, Dave can get lucky twice. He has lucky as an orange ability and as a red ability. That's weird. I yeah. don't know how that works. Huh. So you cool. get to re-roll your re-rolls? I don't know. That's I don't, interesting. I don't use lucky that much. I think Bunny G. I forget if Bunny G. Bunny G has jump, I think, and Tiger Sam, I think, had lucky. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've used those. Yeah, I think one of them one of them died early on. Yeah. And he was one of the first to go. <laughs> yep. So... So that was fun. I, you guys should check it out if you have the, the comic book survivors. It's a, interesting. And trying to get everybody to red is, is always interesting, especially with abominations and stuff. I think the only wound we took was from... Will took a wound from the, the gator, right? The crocodile? Yeah. So, very cool. But uh, thanks for coming out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. See ya.